Hello and welcome. This is the project you're going to have at the end of this tutorial. As you can see, you can use a mouse to select. So I'm a new game, and go back, go upload, go back. I can also use the control pad. Uh, only the uh, D-pad, not the analog stick, and I can use the keyboard as well. So let's get into it. So start a new project, make a scene, put a background image in, and, and what you want to do for the background image is you want to lock it. That way I, I can't select the background image by mistake. We're then going to make a new empty node. We're going to make a button. And the first thing we're going to do is make a theme. So we're going to have two themes, a theme for selected and a theme for unselected. So go down to your custom styles, go to hover, new style, flat box, and we're going to edit this. So let's just use a color we might want to use. I'm doing this as close as I can, so bear with me. Border width, two, two, two. Border blend, corner, and we say ten, 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 ten. Um, shadow, two, and then offset. I'm just doing this a bit blind at the moment. Up to two. Okay, and then what I want you to do with that is I want you to save this as save, and we make sure it's in the theme folder. And I'll just say uh, selected button theme. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this unique, and we're going to remove the border. Make it zero. Zero, zero, zero. Now you can see we've got no bold border, and this is going to be saved as uh, non selected theme. Now, what we want to do is click on the button, is when it's hovering, we want it selected, so load that. Alright, custom styles. When it's uh, focus, we want it selected. Come. When it's normal, we don't want it selected. There we go, and make sure that focus. Oh, yeah, and press should be selected too. I wonder if it would have just been easy just to drag it in like this. So let's, and we'll just save it as a new button. So we're going to go to our title screen and we're going to drag in the menu buttons. Or we'll just drag one here. In fact, I'm just going to put in This so it's easier to work with. Duplicate it, go down one, duplicate it, go down one. And we're just putting three to make this a little bit quicker. Uh, go up, I'm just going to say new. Options. And exit. And it'd be worth checking that. So now you can see got this nice little select thing. However, you'll notice when we first load up, it's not selected by automatically, so I can't use my keyboard or anything. Another thing we need to do as well is let's name them. Menu, new game. Menu, options. Menu, exit. Save that. What we want to do is we want to go down to our focus. And this is really handy with the focus, it will get this up. It will determine if you press up or which which button is above us and we can determine which is. For example, if you press up on new game, you want it to go to exit, so let's do that now. So let's say what's what's above new game? Well it's exit. So it'll flip. And what's be uh, below? It's options. And for options it's New game is above us and exit is below us. 
looks like this. And bottom. And exit, we know that if you press down we want to go to new game, so bottom is new game and top uh, is options. Cool, that should work. So now what we need to do is apply code to the uh, button, which is not that many lines of code, so bear with me. In fact, I'm going to copy and paste a few stuff in. So what we want to do is we want to go to here, we want to attach a script, make sure that it's in the script folder so it's nice and organized. Uh, I'll call it menu bottom here. And we're just going to remove this control V. So, what we need to do is to export VAS. This one's going to be the reference path, so this is going to determine where the level is. Uh, this is going to determine do we start the button focus by default, and we want new game to be focused on by default. So, And then when, when it's ready, it will say, hey, let, is this focused? And then focus the button. Now we've got two signals. The reason I'm doing it in ready rather than in the nodes like this is that it, it's easier to connect them and not have to worry about constantly connecting every time you add a new button so it'll do it automatically however we need to make these two variables sorry these two voids and to do that it's as simple as there we go so when the, when the mouse enters the button what's going to happen is we're going to grab the focus so it will always have focus on, on the button we want to use and when we actually press on the button we're going to get the reference path if there's nothing in there then we know that it's the exit so it'll quit however if there is something in there which we'll get we'll set up in a minute then we'll go to that level and that's it it's just 20 lines of code could be less um, so let's do that then Let's go back and we're going to set this up. So we're going to go new game and we're going to make sure start focuses on. Now when I do this, you'll notice that new game is now selected by default. Now we can also use the keyboard to go up and down. And you notice I didn't actually type any code for this. Same with the control pad, up and down. And that's the great thing about the buttons. It's got the functionality built in up into it already. So what we also need to do is Right now, you'll you'll notice if I click any of them. So if I click options, it all close down because there's no reference path. So we're going to set the reference up now. So we're going to go to our scenes. Ah, in fact, we've got make them, haven't we? So let's just make a um, save this as oh, put them in the scenes. Save this as new new game scene save. Um, save as options scene save brilliant um, it's just so we, we know we're in a new game or not in fact no, let's not worry about that let's just do it in now so now I can go to the reference here I'm going to go to the scenes and we're going to look for new game I'm going to go and copy the path we put it up in here same with options we're going to go to the options we're going to copy the path Put it in here. Now, obviously, we're going to leave exit free because exit should leave the, the game. And it's, that is it, we've, we've set it up. However, you'll notice that we can go to new game, but it's going to. We're in new game now, but there's no way of coming back, so we're going to sort that out. And to do that, I'm going to duplicate this, this button. We'll say go back button. Double click the go back button and then we're going to make sure that it's on the title screen. So copy that. And we know that it's always going to say like go back. And obviously it's going to be on by default. We save that and we're going to go to these the scene and we're just going to put the go back button in anywhere really just so we can go back. Same with this. I'll just put it up further up to it so it's a bit different. And then let's make sure this is working. So we're going to make a new scene and go back. And you see it's highlighted as well. Go back. Go back. 
and that's it. We've got a menu system. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I don't know what I'm going to do for the next one. Always uh, any ideas, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.